red seal exams here in Canada. What trades are classified as red seal? Okay, hey, people. welcome back to another exciting video. I hope you are all keeping safe. I hope you are all doing well in wherever part of the world that you are in. Please continue to stay safe. This is very, very important. A healthy state of the mind, healthy well being is very, very important. So, welcome back to another video. If you are planning to migrate abroad from your own country and in this context abroad would be canada so if you're planning to migrate to canada anytime soon then this is a video you need to watch till the end i've been asked so many questions about this lately and i've also seen myself talking about this to group of people as well like deliberating about this so i just thought oh why not do a video about this so if you've been migrating to canada anytime soon and you're thinking of a skill to learn and you think you still have some more time at hand to learn some skills then this is a video you need to watch to the very end yes because i'll be sharing some of these skills that you need to learn i will be I will also be sharing some tips that will be useful for you as you land in canada wanting to make money from these skills okay sit down and enjoy this video if you're coming across my channel for the first time on this channel i share everything informative everything educative that would help you as you land here in canada life here in canada you know how to make money you know just fun on this channel everything interesting is what you see on this channel so subscribe it's the notification bell share my videos and let us engage in the comment section and to all my oldies my oldies thank you for always rocking with me on this channel you guys are the best always and if you are not following me on instagram why are you not following me on instagram follow me on instagram is still the same extra steps to you on instagram as well i'll always leave it up there or in the description box of my videos so let's go right into today's video main reason why you would need to learn some of these skills is that you want to make money with them or you want to save money like we all know the western world is all about diys like you do it yourself so these skills are skills that you can make money from if you render services like this to friends and family around you to colleagues to um, neighbors then it's a way you can make money or you carry it out for yourself in your own house and it's a way you can save money you would not need to employ people to come and fix things for you in your home when you land here in canada a very good example is hair making like i've not spent a dime to make my hair since i landed in canada so i have a relative here in kitchener waterloo my sister that she does my hair this is a skill she got to master very well by constantly making her daughter's hair you know this is a way she saves money and puts a smile on my face like because whenever she makes my hair i don't want to pay the dime to get my hair fixed she doesn't do it for profit but then it's something she helps us in saving money like she helps <laughs> hope you get the drift i'm sure she'll be watching this video and be like okay that's what you think she would start charging me for making my hair you know we've been saving money through our skills so that's one thing you can um, always have at the back of your mind like why are you learning these skills what do you want to gain after learning these skills like of what use is it if you learn the skills so it's either you're saving money or you're making money or you're just putting a smile on somebody's face like my friend does whenever she makes my hair <laughs> that's just the drift about why you need to learn these skills and become perfect at the skills number one on my list that sounds very interesting is becoming proficient in the use of microsoft office yes you heard me right that's number one it's so so important because once you land in canada the first thing you want to do is maybe get a survivor job or this is a skill that you need to push your resume as well it's just a way to get your feet in the door of some jobs here in canada if you are good with microsoft packages you could get a job as a customer service agent data entry agent and learn this online go to udemy go to skillshare so this is a skill that you should learn become proficient in the use of microsoft office packages powerpoint presentation you know all these things that sounds like oh we don't need them or we can always get someone to do it for us it's something that can be a way of making money here in canada so that's number one on my list today and number two certification in it related skills you can go on udemy you can go on skillshare you can even go on google and garage for short courses that can help you to become experts in this it related skills like programming coding um software development you know this is fast becoming the it world especially since the pandemic so these are skills that you can learn and make money from that's number two 
certification in IT related skills. Number three on my list today is hmm, language. Yes, learn your native language. If you're in Nigeria, we know we have a lot of native languages. Recently, one of the banks here in Canada had open for candidates that can speak Yoruba and Igbo. Yes, you heard me right. So you see, the opportunity here in Canada for some skills is limitless. That's number three. Number four, which is something that prompted this video, is repair of laptops, repair of phones. Go and learn how to do this. If you're in Nigerian, you know computer village. Now, what happens in computer village? <laughs> So go and learn how to repair phones. I went to the mobile clinic to fix my Samsung device and they told me it was going to cost me $300 to fix this device. <laughs> you can imagine if you learn how to repair phones, how to repair um, laptops, these are skills that you can make money from once you land here in Canada. And this is what prompted this video. Like, <laughs> this is something someone should learn before landing in Canada and come and just make your full cool cash. So that's number four. Number five is installation. This country is a country of DIY, like you have to do it yourself. So if this is a service you can render, please be good at it because it's also recognized as trades here in Canada, like plumbing, um, electrician, or um, some repairs at homes. It's classified on that trade here. And learn this thing so that your DIY skills would become so useful when you land here in Canada. Or if you learn it, it's something you can think of doing once you um, land here in Canada. It could be a way of extra income. It could be like a side also that you can pick up. So this is something you can learn. And that takes me to number six, vocational skills. And the work, yes, learn some and the work, tailoring, yes, stylist. These trades are regulated here in Canada as well. I'll talk about that later in this video. Number seven, which is the last that we'll mention in today's video, is photography videography anything entertainment related it's something that you can learn while you're still waiting to land here in canada and when i talk about entertainment related could be mc dj recently i went to a nigerian party here in canada and the dj was just on point so you can imagine if this is something you know how to do if this is something you are a master in you make your money okay so those are the seven skills that i think you can learn while you're still waiting to land here in canada so now let's talk about the trade what i mean by vocational. some of these skills are classified as trades here in canada and they are regulated by um, the provinces so they are proficient in these skills if these are skills that you want to make money from here in canada then once you land you need to check how are these trades regulated what do i need to do for me to practice these activities in this uh, province okay because we have the canadian red seal exams some of the skills are government regulated trades so you need to check with your province once you land um, to know the activities that you can carry out to know if you need some certification here in canada for, for you to conduct these activities as a way of making money or rendering these services to the public so that trade test certificate that you should know the canadian equivalent and please once you go in to learn this trade it's very important for you to obtain your certificate because you need your certificate to um, show your proficiency here in canada yeah, yeah certificate of apprenticeship it's something um, it's something you should obtain once you complete the learning of these skills back in your own country trade test certificates are necessary before you can practice here in canada in some cases you are required to pass the canadian red seal exam it is very very important so these are things you need to check up with your province to know if you need the canadian red seal exam if you need the trade certificate before you can carry out these services i'll put everything that you need to know about red seal exams and trade right in the description box i'll put the helpful links in the description box so that you can read up on red seal exams here in canada what trades are classified as red seal okay you plan to land or migrate to canada i wish you all the best in the process and stay positive always there's always likes at the end of the tunnel stay positive stay focused and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell and if you have any relatives planning to land in canada soon please share this video this is very very important for them to know what they need to learn before they land even after they land if they want to work in this trade and if you have any more questions about this video put it in the comment section send me a dm on instagram anything 
interesting anything fun is what you would enjoy on this channel so subscribe is the notification bell and to my OGs, thank you for always rocking with me on this channel. You guys are the best always. Continue to stay safe and cause until I come again some other time. Let's continue to impact the world with knowledge and information. Bye now. See you in the next one.